Today we're going to talk about how to replace your 3D printer build surface with a mirror. We'll show you how we did it, coming right up. Hey guys, it's Jeremy with Make Tech Hack Tech. We make, break, learn, and explore new technology projects. Recently, I started experiencing a problem with my 3D printer. My prints were no longer adhering properly to the bed. I tried all the common fixes. I checked my temperature. Uh, I tried additives like Magigoo and tape. I, of course, checked bed leveling and things along those lines. Eventually, we traced it back to an extruder issue. And while I resolved that, in the process, I found that the borosilicate glass that came with my printer was not entirely level. And so that led me on a search to find out what the best build platform was as an upgrade. Almost universally, the folks over at the Creality Facebook group suggested replacing the build surface with a mirror tile from a Home Depot or a Lowe's or a similar home improvement store. For many owners of a Creality 3D printer, the 12 by 12 tile is perfect for the 300 by 300 millimeter bed. However, in some cases, such as my CR10 Mini, that build surface does not match the mirror tile you'll get from this store. This is my Creality CR10 Mini. So to begin with, you'll note that the printer comes with a borosilicate glass surface. Uh, your printer, if it's different than the CR10 or a different CR10 model, might have something slightly different. However, these instructions may also be helpful for you. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove that surface and use it as a reference. Once we've got our glass removed, we need to grab one of our mirror tiles. Now, in my case, these ran about $10 for a pack of six, which was really helpful having never cut glass or mirror before. It did take me a few to get through the process and get a few cut. And in the end, I ended up with three good tile beds out of the six. Now, I used up all of our mirror tiles in the process of filming this video, but we'll go ahead and work on one of the scrap pieces and you'll get the idea of how this works. We're gonna need several tools to complete this. The first thing we're gonna need is a straight edge. I've got a depth gauge here I use for some of my other projects and I found that helpful here. You could probably use something else, a tape measure, something along those lines. We need a couple small clamps and I've got these DeWalt quick clamps. Some sandpaper is really helpful for getting the rough edges off once we've got our cut. We'll need something to mark the glass and we'll need a glass cutter. So to begin with, we need to prop this up so that we have room for our clamps. So I'm gonna take the mirror and I'm gonna place it on top of this box I've got. So we're gonna clamp this up right to the end of the build surface. And I'll use my small quick clamps to do that. Uh, take your marker and just mark along the line of where you're looking to make your cut. I'm gonna use the depth gauge. You could use whatever you like and I'm just gonna measure out the depth uh, of the remaining glass right here. There's a couple things I wanna take into account. I'm gonna subtract out the width of my straight edge. Next, my glass cutter has a small overlap where the cutting wheel is. So we need to account for the gap between the cutting wheel and the edge of the glass cutter. That's looking to be about a 16th. And that puts me right around, might be millimeters, 30 millimeters. At any rate, that's what I've got. So we'll remove our template glass. Get that out of our way. We're gonna take our straight edge, kind of balance this on the edge of the uh, platform that we've got. We'll use our clamps again to start to secure it. When you're putting these clamps back on, make sure you stay on this side of the straight edge so that your glass cutter can clearly move along the line. We'll just double check our distance here all the way along. Okay, now that we've got a square mark here, we're gonna take our glass cutter and we're gonna just pull it right along very closely to the straight edge. You're gonna hear, um, it, well, it'll sound like glass breaking. Uh, you just hear a really awful sound. We're looking for that. Try and get a nice firm grip as you do a single pass. If you need to take two, that's fine. Just stick within your line. But start at the edge, press down firmly, stay right against the straight edge. If you feel you've got a good score, now we're on to the next bit. And this is where the safety equipment comes in. So find yourself some gloves and a pair of safety glasses. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and align our score up with the edge of a solid surface. Uh, the side of my desk will work just fine. Get it lined up as easily as we can, and we'll apply pressure down here to hold it while we press down on this side. Be aware you're breaking glass. We have a nice clean cut, so that's what we're looking for. Now, we've left some bits of glass around, so we're gonna wanna vacuum this up before we go too much further, but before we do that, grab that sandpaper. Careful not to get any glass slivers, and just run it along the edge of the few cut here. Uh, then go ahead and hit the area with a vacuum or broom. Now, here's the piece that I did previously, and you can see it matches my build surface perfectly. So we just simply go ahead and line this up, put our build surface clamps back on. And at this point, you should have a nice flat surface to be able to do your printing on. This is quite possibly a different thickness than your old glass. So you'll want to re-level your bed. Uh, also check your Z offset, make sure that works properly. It is extremely smooth. So you may find that using something like Magigoo or putting another build plate on top of this would be helpful. But I found that this solved uh, several of my leveling issues um, with dips in the glass and things along those lines. So if you like 3D printers and 3D printing projects, we've got several more projects, much more interesting than a mirror upgrade to your bed coming up very soon. So hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell so that you're notified when those new videos hit. While you're here, hit the comments down below. Let us know what you run for your 3D printer and what awesome upgrades you've done to it. This is Jeremy with Make Tech Hack Tech.